Hey guys, in this tutorial we are going to talk about the differences between columns and shareables. So, we will discuss the main and important differences for columns and shareables. So, at the left, there are the differences for columns and at the right, there are the differences for shareables. So, okay. Columns are designed for compressive loads. For example, this is the columns and compressive load is applied on it, so the column is going to transfer the load to the footing and finally to the foundation. And the shear walls are designed for a lateral and vertical load resisting. So the shear wall is going to resist the lateral and vertical loads which are coming from earthquake and wind forces. Okay, this is the shear wall and the loads coming from lateral side and in me also from vertical side we can tolerate tolerated by shear walls okay also columns are less resistant to earthquake loads because columns are do not uh, do not have that uh, that much capacity to uh, uh, to withstand against earthquake loads okay and it is not strong enough as shear walls, okay? Because shear walls have high earthquake resistance, and mainly the shear walls are designed for later load resisting. That is why we provide shear walls to be strong enough and will be uh, will be having good earthquake resistance, okay? And also the third difference is that the breadth by width ratio for uh, for columns will be less than 0.4 so that is the ratio and breadth by width ratio will be less than 0.4 so that will be for columns and the breadth by width ratio is when it is greater than 0.4 so it is going to be shear walls Also, columns are normally provided at corners or at the end of the rooms, as per the structure plan. And shear walls have shear walls have runs along the full length of the walls, but columns are located and placed at at the corners or at the ends of the room. Okay. Beam column building system is preferable and efficient for low rise structure system, but shear walls system is more preferable and efficient for designing the high-rise building system okay so the minimum uh, steel reinforcement or rebars which is required for rcc column is varying according to the different core standards okay according to the american code it is one percent steel reinforcement or rebars as required for columns, columns to be designed and according to the indian standard code 0.8% reinforcement or rebars are required for columns. Okay, and according to the British standard, 0.4% reinforcement or rebars are required. Okay, and in case of shear walls, the minimum steel reinforcement or rebars is also varying according to the different uh, uh, different codes and uh, for many countries. Uh, like for each and every country it may be different okay so but for some important codes like American codes and Indian codes and British codes so it is showing that for American codes according to the American codes 0.25% uh, still reinforcement for rebars is required for a shared walls to be designed and according to the Indian standard 0.25% is required the steel reinforcement and also according to the British standard 0.4% steel reinforcement worry bars is required for a shared walls to be designed. Okay, normally concrete consumption in columns is less as compared to shared walls. Okay, and normally consumption of concrete is more in shared wall as compared to beam column building system because the shared walls need uh, need much more uh, amount of concrete to be to be needed as compared to columns okay and provision of openings for doors and windows in column system is very easy 
because we destroyed the partitioning uh, between each and every columns we, we leave the space uh, for doors and windows in case of columns okay but provision of openings in shear wall building system is tedious and need special design skills so without having good design skills it will be boring and very tedious to provide the openings for doors and windows and it need very good skills okay and another difference is that from an aesthetic point of view the column is not looking good but from an aesthetic point of view the shared walls looks very good as compared to column system okay and the last difference is that col uh, concrete columns minimum width is 200 millimeters or 200 mm and many other codes prefer the columns width to be 300 millimeter but shared walls minimum width is going to be 150 millimeter or 100 or 150 mm okay so it was the main in, in important differences in case of columns and shear walls i hope this uh, this uh, tutorial will help you okay and i hope that you will subscribe my channel and will like this video so and like and press the bell icon so to get notification for next tutorial okay thank you so much from your attention uh, so if you have any questions or doubt you can write it down in the comment section so i will try to answer you have a good time bye bye